that they've made and you'll hear all kinds of different numbers and how they affect people but the actual number was they cut 35 jobs and of the 35 11 of them were vacancies which were where the, the, the position had come open and had not been filled yet and 24 of them were done through layoffs that means that our offices are only being cleaned twice a week uh, stairwells only being swept once a month. Uh, they, they, they're claiming that the classrooms and the bathrooms are being cleaned daily, but with the, with the staff stretched so thin, that's often not happening either. There were 24 people that were laid off, and yes, the university has posted some jobs and got some of them back, but in the meantime, there was a loss of income there that affects these people. So they had a period there where they, where they were, you know, worried about, you know, are they going to be able to, to, uh, to make the household expenses. The way our contract works is, if you're laid off and you have seven years experience, seven years seniority, then that means you bump a six-year person. So yeah, you still have your full-time job, but you take a pay cut. Most of them take a pay cut. And then that person bumps a five-year employee who bumps a four-year employee. So then we get to the bottom, and those are the people that just got on, that just thought, hey, I finally made it. I've got a career here. And they're bumped back into the utility pool. So to, for, for anybody, and especially the president of this university, to come forward and say only five to eight people are affected, I'm very offended by that. I came in 11.30, it's now 6.41. And I, once I vacuum the hallway, I'll probably be done, so I'll be getting just in time. We get off at 8. Us losing people has affected my job in the fact that I see it firsthand because there's 17 people from my shift alone, which is the midnight 11.30 to 8 shift, that just totally lost their jobs. So everybody in the building has to pick up twice the amount of work. We're only changing trash twice a week, and if you're someone who eats a lot, or if you use your trash, you, you take advantage of the fact that you throw it away, it's going to be changed. Well, now we only do trash two days a week. It stinks. It's not fun for us. And on the days we do trash, it's piled sky high. I remember a time when I was a custodian, when we had one custodian per floor, per building. Now, we have one custodian for two or three buildings. But I am um, a life safety building maintenance specialist. Well, I'm a custodian in Shively Dorm. The residential custodial services. I'm a stores cook at the New Baker University Center. I am a custodial worker at Grover Center. I'm a cook one at Baker Center. One of the things that everybody who comes here has said about this campus, and one of the reasons they like this campus and think about coming here as students, is because they walk on the campus and say, wow, this is a gorgeous place. And everybody responds to that. Faculty do, students do, parents do. And they say, oh, this is perfect. This is, this is what people imagine a university campus is supposed to be. And, you know, what you're going to see as more and more cutbacks happen with union employees is a deterioration of that aspect of the campus. It has been said that the administration here thinks that this campus is so beautiful and so clean that the quality can afford to come down some before it starts affecting the students. And you can look around here now and the, and the grounds have deteriorated. If you go into buildings, you know, light bulbs are flickering and, and uh, there's, more, there's more grime around because there aren't as many people working in the buildings cleaning them. These guys that were laid off, some of them worked in the residence halls. And so, you know, we're cutting the services to the students that are living here, that are paying to live here, that are paying for a level of service. One of the things that's been very gratifying to me has been the number of student groups and the faculty that have come forward to, uh, to support us. So we're gonna join together and uh, work together to solve these problems, and the administration can either help us or they can get out of the way. Get out of it! 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 Get out of
fired 24 union employees on this campus. Who's here is pissed that we do not have a democratic university where the students, the workers, and the teachers help create the functioning of this campus. And it's time for the administration to realize that that's what's important, the day-to-day -day care of the students, not how many bean counters we've got, and not how many vice presidents we have. That doesn't retain any students. The cleanliness, the beauty of the campus, the health and safety, making the repairs in a timely manner, that's what retains our students.